What's going on, guys? It's Eli. There's little blue. Hi! Hi! So, what a way to start off this vlog, I know. Yeah. I mean, both me and him, we're both silly, so we're both funny. We are now leaving McDonald's. There's Taco Bell. There's a truck with pretty cool neon lighting. I guess you can say, you know, purple lighting, whatever. That's pretty cool. You notice the purple lighting on the truck? That's pretty cool. I like that. Blue Blue thinks that's pretty cool too, so. It's cold out here, kinda. Ugh. After eating at McDonald's, I am full. So. But anyways. Oh, okay. So. Check that out. Cool lighting. So we are leaving now and back home. Oh. Yeah, turn on the heat and such. It's hot. It's cool out there. But anyways, so we had we had a pretty good time in there, didn't we? Eating and such. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to do this. Yeah, I know, because uh, get myself organized here. Anyways, so about you guys having a good Tuesday and such? Because we are, we have. We were. We actually, were, actually, I had a rough Tuesday. You did? Yes, I did. That got go. better. Because so, of work and such? Yeah, started rough and it got better. Because of what we did? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, it ended up being a good day at work, too. Okay, yeah. Just saying. Mm hmm. It just kind of, you know, yeah. it started off rough and got better. Okay. I had a client that didn't show up, or I was afraid was not going to show up for a recording session today for a program yeah. segment and uh -huh. they did show up. They were a few minutes late but they were there. Uh-huh. Okay. Another, th another thing is guys is that we originally um, I don't know if well probably after at one point we were going to do Hobby Lobby but they're, they're as, of now, as of now they're closed and I would have done the vlog starting off here of us leaving at McDonald's and then looking around at Hobby Lobby and then ended off somewhere around then. So yeah. Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, maybe. Um, but, um, yeah, so, another thing, is, another thing is, guys, is that the next vlog after this that you're watching, the next vlog will probably be uh, where me and my friend Morgan, we will be seeing Sonic the Hedgehog on, we'll be seeing it on Friday. Um, I mean, what, what do you guys think about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming out? Because I'm, I'm anxious, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Looks like it might be pretty good. I mean, who knows, you know. When do we hear what the reviews are and such? It's only about, like, four, uh, yeah, three days away till that comes out. And, yeah, wait till we hear what, every, what everybody thinks of it. <laughs> uh, but, um, maybe me and Morgan when if any of his if any of his friends are also my friends if they join us as well if they join me and morgan as well you know all of us will we'll see what we think of, of the sonic film so um interesting thing is i read this at jim because jim carrey who plays robotnik what it, what interest him in doing the film was because that his daughter was actually a fan of the uh, sonic games so but i think jim carrey he'll be he might be pretty decent as robotnik He's good at uh, he's good at playing uh, any characters because of facial expressions, all that kind of stuff. Like from when he did the Grinch and Count Olaf. So yeah. Well, what about you, Lily? I mean, what do you? I mean, any thoughts? What do you think of the Sonic film coming out? Uh, it looks like it might be interesting. I um, probably ran it and watch it. Yeah. Uh, it, Jim Carrey. I've seen movies I liked him in. I did not like Ace Ventura, Pen Detective. I did not like Mask. Uh, the Grinch? I did no. not like Grinch. But you know, he did pull a good likeness to the Grinch, like yeah. with the makeup and facial expressions. Yeah. You gotta admit, the makeup was really good on him. Yeah, 
Yeah, I looked like he looked like the Grinch in real life, you know. I love the movie Liar. Big uh, li liar, liar, and so yeah, liar, liar. I hated there was a movie that had yeah that had him and Jennifer Tilly in it. So there was a movie that came out that after I saw it, I so wanted to go to the box office and demand my money back because it was awful. It was me, myself, and Irene. One of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It was horrible. Yeah. I watched it and I was that had out. Jim Carrey in it. Yep, I was on vacation. Uh, your mommy was on. Your mommy was actually working, and I had extra vacation days, so I took some extra vacation days, and I went to the movies one day, and I was I really wanted to see me myself and Irene because I'd seen the trailer. Well, unfortunately, it was one of those movies that all of the good scenes, all of the funny scenes, were actually in the trailer. <laughs> the rest of the movie stunk. It was awful, and uh... it was so bad that I went to a. I got out and I bought another ticket to another movie. I saw Shaft. Samuel L. Jackson. That was a good movie. Okay. That had Christian Bale in it. Who, Samuel L. Jackson, Christian Bale. Yep, and, and Christian Bale was actually the bad guy in the movie. Samuel L. Jackson was the good guy? I oh, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson was... He was Shaft. Okay. Okay. The main character and such. Name Shaft. Yeah, he was a detective. He was a cop. That's okay. what he was. And at the end of the movie, he ends up joining his uncle who was the original Shaft in the original TV series back in the 70s, joined him, uh, joined his detective agency, became a detective. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a cool movie, it really was. It was a good movie. Hmm. Okay. Starred the guy that plays, um, had another guy in it that played in it. Um, he was also a bad guy. Uh, <sighs> Plays the, the CIA operative in all the James Bond movies. Uh huh. And I can't remember what his character's name is in those movies. He's in this one too, coming up. He always calls him brother. Uh huh. Because he's, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but jumping. Are you going to say anything else? No. Nope. Okay, well, jumping back to Jim Carrey, like, you, you didn't join him as from man, man uh, you know, man to the mo man on the moon, you know, Andy Kaufman as Andy Kaufman. Oh, yeah, he was good at that, too. Yeah. Um, and yet, you know that Jim Carrey and Andy, Ka Andy Kaufman, they share the same birthday. Well, do they? Yeah. So. Um, Speaking of Andy Kaufman. Yes. There is, there used to be, a TV show on Friday nights at 11.30 called Friday. Fridays. Yeah. And it was pretty funny. It had uh, starred Michael, uh, oh crap, what's his last name? He played Kramer in uh, Seinfeld. Yeah. He, he was in it. It was a comedy show like Saturday Night Live. And it was actually funnier than Saturday Night Live. Uh -huh. Andy Kaufman was a, was a guest star on that show one night. And they did a skit in a restaurant. And Andy Kaufman basically just blew up. And yeah, the restaurant part? You've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. If any, and, and what about you guys? Have you seen that? I mean, still don't know to this day if it was a And stunt. everything's on no, with real. It, the stuff that most of the stuff that Andy Kaufman did that looked like it was real, it's unknown if it was real or staged. More than likely it was staged. Yeah. More what about likely. what about that whole f fiasco that happened on him with on David Letterman, you know? Oh, with the wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that when it came when it happened. Um, like you saw when it was brought when when it broadcast on that day and such. Yeah, and I I was disgusted. What are your thoughts? I was disgusted by it. I thought, come on, you know, it was just it was like grandstanding and just just over the top stuff. It was like the night Joaquin Phoenix was on David Letterman, and it was so bad that David Letterman said he said, "Well, Joaquin, it was uh, uh, nice." Nice to have you here. Wish you could have been here. <laughs> okay. Because he was completely removed from that interview. He just, he barely answered anything, barely said anything. I, you know, I really didn't know. I mean, it was like he was strung out on something. And it was probably an act. Yeah. But who knows? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh. Thing is like 
okay, what about the Dumb and Dumber films with Jim Carrey? Oh, yeah. You enjoyed those? Oh, enjoyed... my gosh. I've I love seen... those movies. Well, there's only been two, like the one from the 90s and this one that came out just a few years ago. I didn't see that one. Me I neither. I'd like to see it. Me too, I yeah. I love the original Dumb and Dumber. That scene with, uh, who, who's the guy who plays his counterpart? Oh, I can't remember say, but I know him, but I can't Yeah, remember. yeah. Well, okay, the guy that played Kramer in <sighs> Seinfeld, and also the guy that played on the show Fridays that was in that scene, that restaurant scene with Andy Kaufman, he was originally asked to play that part with Jim Carrey, and he turned it down. Oh, okay. He, he would have been hilarious doing the doing the, the, the laxative scene where he's on the toilet. Oh, yeah. my God. That is still, to this day, the funniest scene in any movie ever in cinematic history. Hmm. That I, I absolutely laughed. I fell on the floor out of the chair into the floor I was laughing so hard. Your mom came in the living room to see if I was okay. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I've never laughed that hard in my life. Yeah. Watching, because we, I, we, I rented the movie and watched it, and she wasn't interested in it. She thought it was stupid, which, you know, it is dumb and dumber. But I have never laughed that hard in my life. Yeah. But now what's his face who played, who played uh, the other character such, you know, he's, he's good, isn't he? Jim right. Carrey, alongside Jim Carrey. Well, let me give that a plug real quick. Whoever's watching, go to go on go to the regular the main page of YouTube and do a and do a search in the search window. Type uh, "Dumb and Dumber Laxative Scene." Yeah. And if you've never seen it, make sure you're not eating or drinking anything when you're watching it, or you will blow it out of your nose out of your mouth you'd be laughing so hard yeah I'm not kidding and for those that, of you that, it's that funny and for those of you that have seen it you let us know what you think if it's hilarious and such and what what Little Blue said so. see if you agree with me that it is the funniest movie scene ever yeah in any, and I mean over Monty Python over Naked Gun over, Les, over John Cleese Leslie Nielsen and anything uh, the two of them ever did doesn't even touch that scene and the guy that played this, the guy that plays in it, and he also played in RV. Kind of wish I could remember his name. Yeah, I know who you're talking uh, about, but I can't remember his name. He's, I've heard him on. He's been on Bob and Tom before, which is a, uh, yeah. a nationally syndicated radio show. You hear on the mornings. You hear it here, uh, right? Locally on WKLC Rock 105. Uh, but it. But you know, that's another funny film that he did. RV. That's a hilarious film. You know. Yeah, it is a hilarious film. Okay, but back to the laxative part. Right. That laxative scene, that whole thing. And the thing of it is, we've all been there before. We've all been in that situation where you have to go, and you have to go now. Yeah. There is no waiting. You have to go now. And it is the most horrible, helpless feeling there is, depending on where you are at the time. Uh-huh. Can't imagine. I mean, it's, it's, I think the worst would be to be in a traffic jam and yeah. to have to go. And I know, I know of somebody that happened to, I don't know personally, but I know of somebody that happened to, and they were wearing a suit and they went all over themselves. Yeah. Because they couldn't hold it. Speaking of which, because you know, today is Leslie Nelson's birthday, you know. I know. Yeah. And not just that, but he also knows Burt Reynolds' birthday is today as well. Burt Reynolds. Is it his birthday today? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I miss Burt Reynolds. I really liked him. You know that he was almost going to play, I think he was going to play the part that Al Pacino played in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I'm, sure he, I'm sure he would have been good, and it would have been nice if he, if Burt Reynolds managed to play the part and such in there, alongside, you know, with, with Luke Perry, who was in the film, you know? Like, it would have been their, the two of them's last film, you know? Yeah. Before each one of them had passed away, you know? I saw an interview. Yeah, but, Al, but Al Pacino was still good, you know? I saw an interview with Burt Reynolds once on the Johnny Carson. 
Carson show years ago. Uh -huh. And he told a story about a friend of his who came to his house to visit. And he came in the door, and this dog followed him in. And the dog went over right in the middle of Burt Reynolds' living room and squatted and took a dump right in his living room floor. And <laughs> Burt Reynolds looked at his friend and he said, man, sh you know, you shouldn't let your dog do that. And he, the guy looked at him and he said, that's not my dog, I thought it was yours. <laughs> oh God. Like the, <laughs> stray, like the dog. stray dog just followed him in the door and took a dump right in Burt Reynolds' living room. <laughs> that was a great story. I'll never forget that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So besides, besides Burt Reynolds, uh, Leslie Nielsen, like um, you told me, Little, Little Blue has told me this that you cite you cite Leslie Nielsen, John Cleese is two the funniest men, you know. Two funniest men that's ever walked this earth. I'm serious. Yeah. Um, and. Um, and, um, I mean, that's it. They're the two funniest men. And, you know, John Cleese being a part of the Monty Python troupe. Mm -hmm. We watch Monty Python, and I know people that have watched Monty Python and didn't like it, and they said, it's too silly. Well, that's the whole point. It is silly. It's supposed to be silly. That's why it's so funny. Is because it's silly. It's, exactly, it's a comedy. It's, it's comedy. It's it's a, it's absurdity. It's yeah. but it's done. It's done in a British style. It is. It's class. It's just class. That's right. Yeah. The, I mean the. Well, not only has John Cleese done Monty Python, but also Faulty Towers. Yes. That's right. Yeah. And he was excellent. Faulty Towers. Uh huh. Like a couple of parts they did, like the one with his car, you know. The car. He's like trying. He's trying to bring in a turkey and such, but his car breaks down, kind of, you know. His, yeah, his car. Uh, in order to say this, this is going to make this. It's going to make this. Uh, this vlog rated PG, but. Oh please! Anyway, yeah, that doesn't matter. I. I. That's. It doesn't matter what this. Probably, these videos on the channel are probably one of that's probably another time in my life that I laughed so hard that I almost fell on the floor it was when he the car kept giving him problems and he was in a hurry and the car stops in the middle the car stops in the street and he's <laughs> he's screaming at it going start you vicious bastard and he jumps out of the car and he goes that's it! I've told you time and time again! I've laid it on the line with you, and now I've had it! I'm gonna give you a damn good thrashing! And he runs off, uh, runs out of the picture, bad, comes John. back with a tree branch, and starts yeah, beating the crap out of his car. Tree branch. Oh my god! I, I was, I absolutely was just almost on the floor. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. And I still laugh when I see it. It's hilarious. Exactly. All that part when he was like, he was once, I remember he did this. Uh, he, I, I remember. Oh. Oh my God! The, 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 it was, was that it was the, called uh, the Germans? That was the, the name of the episode. The Germans. Okay, and he was doing like, what? A, a, a Hitler impression? And he goes, or? "Who's this then?" And he puts his finger up to his like the Hitler mustache, and he's, he's strange, do and he starts and he starts walking. marching, doing the doing the yeah. you know doing the they call it the goose step, a and goose he's step. got these legs that are like they're like I swear they're like ten miles long, mm -hmm. and he could do and you could see that. You can appreciate that because if you if you if you've ever seen the episode or the skit from Monty Python called The Ministry of Silly Walks, there's another one to go to not Google but to go go to the YouTube main page and type in the search search window Monty Python Ministry of Silly Walks yeah. and you will laugh your head off. Oh yeah. It is it's it's silly, but it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. It is. And yeah. one more, one more Monty Python. This yeah. one, this one will kill. This to me is the classic Monty Python skit of all time. Uh -huh. And that is how not to be seen. Oh uh, yeah. How not? 
<laughs> I think I might remember this one. You describe it. This is Mr. Nesbitt of Hollow Newtown. Oh yeah, I remember this now. I remember this now. We can go, go ahead, go Mr. Nesbitt. Mr. Nesbitt, will you stand up, please? He stands up. <laughs> falls dead. And says, "This represents the first lesson in not being seen." <laughs> <laughs> this is Mrs. B.J. Smegma of something, gives some obscure address. Mrs. Mesma, will you stand up, please? <laughs> and when she, st uh, she stands up and she gets blown back, it's so hilarious. And one guy's hiding behind a bush, they blow the bush up. And they, there's three bushes, and um, Mr. Smith has, has left us with, has given a, has left us with a poser. We do not know which shrub. Mr. Smith is hiding behind, but yeah. we will soon find out. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, it was the middle one. Watch it. It's uh, hilarious. Yeah, go watch those, guys. Go watch those. And besides from John and Clay's My Python, I've quickly mentioned, talk about Leslie Nielsen. You know, he's another funny man, right? Leslie Nielsen is another funny man. And let me give, a one, let me give another plug to a funny man. Bob Exactly. Bob Newhart, yeah. Bob Newhart, his humor is very cerebral. You have to think. You have to, I mean, it is, it's hilarious. Bob Newhart. I saw him, I, got, I had the privilege of seeing him do his stand-up routine at the Paramount Arts Theater in Ashland, Kentucky. Uh -huh. and, it, and he did one bit that he had done before, that I had heard before. All the rest of his stuff was new material, and I laughed my head off. He was hilarious. Uh -huh. He's just got a very, he's got a very dry delivery, very much like Leslie Nielsen. And it just, his it, his humor is just cerebral. It's just, it's cerebral. It, it's, it makes you think. It's not goofy stuff. I mean, you have, I mean, nope. He comes up with stuff that's like, you know, you have to really think about it. Yeah. Um, no, go ahead. That's it. All right. And with Leslie Nielsen, um, like, he's he's had some great stuff, you know, from the Naked Gun films to Airplane, you know, those parody films, you know. The Naked Gun films, and, and I also, I have the uh, series that came out called... Uh, Police Squad. Oh yeah, and which that's which that's what spawned the Naked Gun films. Yes, and it is. You see, I mean, just to give you an example of the kind of humor, um, they they find a they find a crime vehicle, and um, they're Leslie Nielsen and whoever this detective is, they're standing there talking. And you hear one of them, and one of them says, ah, here comes the tow truck. Well, you know what it's going to be. It's a giant tow on wheels that pulls up. You know, instead of what you do, a tow truck, you yeah. would imagine would be a tow truck, you know, a wrecker. Yeah, a tow truck. yeah. They would come up to hook up a vehicle to, to tow light. it away. You can't see us. It is, a, it is literally a, a giant tow on wheels that rolls up. It's, uh -huh. it's hilarious. Yeah. Thus, a tow truck. Yeah. The Naked Gun films, which would be your favorite? The first, the second, or the third? Well, not the third. The third was funny, but it, it was not nearly as funny. I mean, as, I enjoyed the third one. Well, I did too, but I, I really enjoyed... Um, I enjoyed the first one when he's, uh, when he's playing... When he's posing as Enrico Palazzo, uh -huh. the opera singer, and he gets stuck out... He gets stuck out in field, in the, on the infield... At the, at the, um, at the uh, California Angels baseball stadium, yeah, and has to sing the national anthem, and he can't remember the words, and he's standing there singing it, and he's going, you know, and the rockets red glare, oh yeah, bunch of bombs in the air, <laughs> <laughs> like he gets a few of the first words right, you know, and he but then, but then later on he gets them messed up. Yeah, yeah, he just, he butchers it. Oh, it's yeah. so funny. And yet when he's the umpire, you know? Uh, and yeah. before the second strike, they strike! Before, even before the ball crosses the plate, I he's yelling, yeah. STRIKE! 
too. And the audience are getting into it. Oh yeah, man, they're loving he it. He knows that they're getting into it, and that's what the that's what he's doing, you know. So and he uh, just and he just got this very um, deadpan sense of humor. Yeah. I mean, it just, it, oh yeah, and I think my favorite of the naked of the naked gun films that'd be the second one, The Smell of Fear. So yeah, The Smell of Fear is my favorite, and the opening scene. Whoever they got to play George H. President George H. W. Bush it looks good. Looks fantastic. Like, and Barbara from, Bush from a few from a few blocks, just a few steps back and such. With the camera, looks good. It looks oh like George. The, also, um, that one line that cracked you up that like die had you dying with laughter was when you know said, "Don't get up," you know. Yeah, he's uh, he's being introduced to. I wrap it up because uh, I want to finish this Doctor, vlog. Doctor Manheim. Yeah, played by what's his face, who's played Uncle Dursley in the it, Harry Potter films. Exactly, and he's yeah. in a wheelchair. He's a paraplegic, and he's introduced. He's introduced to Frank Drebin, and Frank Drebin goes, "No, no, don't get up," <laughs> and he shakes his hand. <laughs> and uh, I almost, yeah. I almost. I mean, everybody in the theater laughed, but I sat there and laughed for ten minutes straight, and I had to hold back because I, I would have disrupted the movie theater if I'd let go. It was. I, I have never laughed that hard. Trying to hold uh, back laughter in my life. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh my god. It's funny, funny movies. Well, anyways, so yeah. Um, but yeah, and so once again, because you know, people like uh, Leslie Nielsen, Burt Reynolds, so today's their birthdays. You know. Yep. So happy birthday to them and all happy the birthdays. others. Um, and yeah, you guys let us know, leave some comments down below what you think, what we've been talking about, from Jim Carrey to Leslie Nielsen to John Cleese to Bob Newhart, Monty Python, Faulty Towers, the Naked Gun films, etc. So leave comments down below, leave comments. And again, after this vlog, probably the next vlog after after this one you're watching will be with me and Morgan will be seeing Sonic the Hedgehog. So, you know, anything else to say? I'm done. Okay. So, so me. So, are, so am I. We pretty much wrapped up. We pretty much covered everything. So with all that said, guys... We hope you enjoyed this vlog. In one take, it, it, tw now 27 minutes. Jeez. I know. You've been t we've been talking a lot, you know? Yeah, we have. But hey, it was worth it, you know? Yeah, it was fun. So yeah. Again, leave comments down below about everything that's been that's been in this vlog, we've been talking about and such, you know? And stay tuned and be on the lookout for the next vlog coming up. Again, the next one probably be me, Morgan. We see Sonic, so, you know, get hyped for that. So, and it'll be in one take, so, you know, pretty much. But anyways, <clears throat> so again, with all that said... Hope you enjoyed this vlog in one take, and we'll say off out, I guess. What are you gonna do? Off, out. Okay. So, so Little Blue says off, out. He says that, and for me, we again, we hope you enjoyed this vlog in one take, and we'll see you guys in the next video slash vlog. <clears throat> Excuse me, take care and peace.